everybody wants to win. But it's about more than that. D- d- do you agree or disagree? And it's it's up to you. But I always thought it was more about, I never paid attention. You know, the wins and losses, those things will take care of themselves. It's about the process of preparing to win and preparing to be successful. Would you agree or not agree? No statement that was believed more wholeheartedly by me. And, and it's the journey and uh, what people have to understand. There's the kids that we have in our system right now have two major challenges in front of them and and one of them is learning how to compete I mean we have put certain challenges mental physical challenges in front of them and and we've said hey listen here's the bar Uh, you gotta clear it make some choices
gonna get up? Just how are you gonna get up? Like Ali in the jungle Like Nelson in jail Like Simpson on the mountain With odds like that they were bound to fail Like Keller in the darkness Like Adams in the dark Like Ludwig Van How I love that man Well the guy went deaf and didn't give a damn Count we went up and in. Got it. 12 on the clock. Wonder who's gonna take it. And no good. And it's back over. Ball's lost. Ball's still lost. They're letting him play, that's for sure. Wow. Game over. Woo. Unbelievable ending. Holy cow. <laughs> they let him play that last five seconds, that's for sure. And you know, you got to give Angle a lot of credit. He just fought and fought and fought, just couldn't get that last shot to go. Woo! Now he's a warrior. Heck of a game by both teams. Absolutely. Well, the final score is 62 to 60. The Gales come away at Logan High School with a win. We'll be back, I'm sure, with more basketball uh, throughout the year. But boy, what a great game this was tonight, right, Coach? Absolutely. Um, just back and forth, like you said. Anytime you go double overtime, you know, somebody's going to be pretty frustrated because they got beat. And, you know, for the Gales, hey, you know, they needed to pick me up. They, they, they're trying to make progress. Uh, they got young players. Uh, they really were on board tonight. You could tell they're trying to do the right things. And, you know, just learning how to be successful in some of those tight situations, uh, you know, to, to experience it and then have it positive. I, you know, I'm, I'm happy for them. And, uh, Ball is 
is tipped There you are You're running for your life You're a shooting star and all those years No one knows Just how hard you work But now it shows That one shining moment You reach deep inside In one shining moment your heart, feel the wind in your face, it's more than a contest, it's more than a race. It's done, win or lose, you always did your best, cause inside you knew, that one shining moment, you reached for the sky, one shining moment, you knew, one shining moment, you willing to try, one shining moment, you give young people out there that want to be a part of Coach Heights' program, let's say a sixth, a seventh, an eighth, a ninth grader, what would you what would you tell them? What do they have to do to be part of your program? You know, the, the traditional things about winning uh, is standard to pretty much all programs. The work ethic, the, the find a passion in your life and uh, it, it, you know, we run our programs, our youth developmental programs, the, probably the key that goes through all of our programs is find a passion and then approach that passion like you do love it. Don't say you love it and then not put in the time and the effort. But most importantly, again, life's too short. Basketball is a vehicle that we use to do other things. So if, you, if God-given ability says you have the ability to play basketball, don't just limit it to just the field of basketball or the court of basketball. Do good things for other people. Represent your school well. Help the kid out that, that needs the door open for him. Say please and thank you. Use those skills that you have and, you know, it's honor them. Not everybody has that ability. And you don't have to look very far to find people that uh, have taken things for granted. And life skills, yeah, you'll get inundated with them. I call them our little sermons, but, um, hey, that's the way it is because basketball is bigger than just the game.